Hi, we worked on graph of convex sets for trajectory optimization on Spot. The trajectory optimization problem is much more complex with obstacles in the environment due to the non-convexity. Rahuchi et al. proposed a mixed integer optimization method called graph of convex sets, which they use for trajectory optimization. Our project aims to apply their method to Spot in order to plan footstep trajectories that avoid obstacles in 2D. Additionally, we want to make Spot follow trajectories in simulation using whole body control. Here is an overview of the subcomponents of our project. We input a random environment with varying terrain into the graph of convex sets algorithm to get Cartesian footstep positions for the trajectory. We then convert the Cartesian positions into joint positions with IK. We use a whole body controller to solve a quadratic program that finds feasible joint positions based on the ideal ones from IK. The new joint positions are given to the PD controller that tries to command them to spot. Our environment consists of a random terrain of stepping stones. Pairs of feet on standing on pairs of stones are our convex sets. We added frames to Spot's feet to locate foot positions. Spot's goal is to navigate from the start to the end stone. So GCS is in essence a shortest path problem. where you are trying to find your shortest path through a graph of convex sets, given some convex cost function on your edges. In our case, our convex sets are pairs of feet on pairs of stepping stones. So two 2D feet give two by two equals four D sets. Our convex constraints are shown in the picture. They're essentially how far we can step as well as how far feet can be away from each other. For certain situations, you can also enforce things like the left foot being to the left of the right foot, etc., to help make plan trajectories physically feasible. We go from two feet to four, simply select future steps as four legs and past steps as hind. This is necessary because the 8D set version is extremely computationally expensive. So how does it fare? So the left video here takes about 20 seconds to solve the optimization problem, whereas the right one takes about four. The right one, however, is much more physically feasible, but it is also dependent on walking left to right because of its balance constraints rather than the more omnidirectional one to the left. So additional things we did. We uh, gave it the ability to step on the same stone twice uh, on the left, and we also added non-convex constraints during the relaxation step of GCS, for in a sense, forcing the steps to be away from each other so it doesn't tip over. This is one of Drake's newest GCS features. So like presented in the paper, uh, the convex relaxation does not handle symmetry well. In fact, the train shown to the left here, the symmetric one, doesn't really slow at all, or at the very least, extremely slowly. We never let it finish. Next, we compute the desired joint angles for each leg, given the 2D footstep positions from GCS. This we do analytically using the following closed form inverse kinematic solution. The desired joint positions for each footstep configuration are then passed to the whole body controller which plans a trajectory for each joint from the start to the end configuration. The cost function puts a high weight of 10 on the initial and end configurations and a lower weight on the positions in between, which are linear interpolations. The reason we do this is that the problem becomes infeasible when adding the start and end configurations as hard constraints. Our actual constraints consist mostly of the same ones as we saw in class for gate optimization on Little Dog. These include joint limits, velocity dynamics, center of mass dynamics, and more. Next, let's look at the results of the whole body controller. Here we are not simulating physics, but just force publishing the trajectory optimization. One interesting thing you can notice is that between each footstep, spot slightly teleports due to the fact that the start and end configurations are not hard constraints. Otherwise, the solution seems to be quite reasonable. Finally, what happens when we pass the desired trajectory to the low level PD controller while simulating physics? You can see that spot is able to track the trajectories, but it is not extremely stable. One issue is likely the teleporting start and end configurations as mentioned before. Another one is possibly that we are not constraining the center of mass to be within the support polygon during each step. So is there, there's definitely room for improvement here. There are some limitations with GCS. It seems very inefficient for footstep planning, especially for four feet. This is especially if we want the possibility to step in the same set multiple times with the same foot. This adds many copies to the graph. There are also limitations with current whole body control and PD. Teleportation shows feasible steps, but PD is not able to track trajectory well. One issue is that optimization becomes infeasible when adding hard constraints on Q0 and Q and minus one. Improvements can likely be made regarding cost slash constraints in order to make whole body control better. Thank you for listening and thank you for the under staff for their support.